Australia is home to some of the world's largest recoverable deposits of critical minerals, which are used in manufacturing solar panels, wind turbines, and electric vehicles. China、um, is one of the leaders in green technology. Do you see more green cooperation between the two? How should they join hands to best utilize this complementarity? This puts everything into context when we think about the climate challenge that the world faces and the potential for China to play a leading role here in the green transition to a more sustainable global economy. China is developing the technology, the ability to roll out electric vehicles, which Australia welcomes. It's not afraid of them, such as the United States and, and the European Union.、Uh, and Australia, as you say. Has the the critical minerals, the lithium and other ingredients that are very important for those supply chains to feed into China's ability to lead us into this green transition. So there's a lot of common ground here potentially between Australia and China. Let's hope that、uh, that we can we can move this forward and we can find more productive cooperation for the green transition. We need to speed up this green transition because actually this is the biggest threat. That the world faces, that the, the disruptions to our economies and to our societies from climate risk are very, very real. We know this in the Asia Pacific. We know climate change will impact on China, on Australia, very badly unless we act very quickly in this decade to make sure global warming is slowed. And so, China rolling out the、uh, solar panels, the electric vehicles, this is absolutely to be welcomed. And Australia, by the way, has a long tradition of supporting free trade. It's it's not a country that is inclined towards protectionism, at least not in the last half century. And so there's a real opportunity here for China and Australia to collaborate because Australia has no protectionist agenda, which arguably、uh, is what might be partly what's going on with the United States and the European Union—a move away from free trade. Which is very dangerous for both China and Australia, who benefit from free trade and 